The vision of vectors from National 5. The essential skills required from National 5 are drawing vectors, stating components of 3D vectors, adding and subtracting vectors, multiplying a vector by a scalar, finding the magnitude of a vector and position vectors. Drawing vectors and stating components. Quantities with magnitude and direction are called vectors. Here we have a vector A to B and it is called U. As you can see we have an arrow that shows direction. This vector has components 2, 3. You go along the x-axis 2 and up y3. Please note that if you move right along the x-axis, we'll have a positive component. If we move left, we would have a negative component. If we move up y, we have a positive component. And if we move down, we would have a negative component. This also um, translates into 3D vectors. This vector here has components 4, minus 3, 1. Try this example on your own. State the coordinates of A, B, C and E. Please pause the video. The answers. A is 8, 0, 0. B is 8, 4, 0. C is 0, 4, 0. And E is 8, 0, 6. Adding and subtracting vectors. Here is vectors a, b and c. We can construct vector a plus b as follows by using a diagram. First of all, draw vector a and at the end of vector a, start vector b. The resultant vector going from the tail of a to the tip of b is a plus b. We can also construct vector a minus b. Please note this is the same as drawing a add negative b, which means we will change the direction of vector b. Vector a, negative b, the resultant vector is a minus b. Adding and subtracting vectors by looking at components. Here we have vectors a, b and c. We can calculate the components of vector a plus c as follows. Vector a is 2, 3, 2. And we're going to add on vector c, which is 4 minus 3, 1. Combining these together, 2 plus 4 is 6. 3 add on negative 3 is 0. And 2 plus 1 is 3 given us a resultant vector of 6, 0, 3. We can calculate the components of vector a minus c. a minus c is 2, 3, 2. Add negative 4, 3, negative 1. Note that we do a plus negative c. So the components of c have been multiplied by negative 1 because we are adding negative c. 2 plus minus 4 is negative 2. 3 plus 3 is 6. And 2 plus negative 1 is 1. Try these examples on your own. Please pause the video. The answers. u plus b is 0, 7, 2 u minus v is 2, 3, 2 p minus q is 5, negative 3 over 2, 21 over 5 and q plus p is 3, 9 over 2, 9 over 5 Multiplying a vector by a scalar To multiply a vector by a scalar, every component is multiplied by that scalar Again, we'll look at these three vectors, a, b and c. We can calculate the components of vector 3a plus 2c as follows. Three lots of a would be three lots of 3, 5, 2. 
plus 2 lots of C and vector C is 5, negative 2, 1. We must multiply each component by the scalar outside, resulting in 3A being 9, 15, 6, and 2C, 10, negative 4, and 2. Adding these together will give a resultant vector of 19, 11, 8. We can also calculate components of vector 2b minus c. 2 lots of b is 2 lots of 6, 0, 0. And remember we're going to add negative c. Therefore each component in vector c has been multiplied by negative 1 to give negative 5, 2, minus 1. Multiplying the scalar 2 with vector b will give an answer of 12, 0, 0, and combining the two vectors, final solution is 7, 2, minus 1. Now try these examples on your own. Please pause the video. The answers, 3v, is 3, 15 minus 9, and negative 4, r, is 24, negative 12, negative 4. The magnitude of a vector. The magnitude, or length, or size of a vector u is written as, it is calculated as follows. We square each component, add them together, then take the square root. This is just like Pythagoras. Find the magnitude of vectors A and B. For vector A, we need to square 4, add on 6 squared. This will give us an answer of 52. 16 plus 36 will give us 52. And square root 52 will simplify to 2 root 30. The magnitude of vector B is the square root of negative 2 squared plus negative 4 squared. That gives us an answer of root 20. 16 plus 4 is 20. And root 20 can be simplified to 2 root 5. Now try this example on your own. Please pause the video. The answer. The magnitude of vector u is 13 units. Final thing we're going to look at today is position vectors. OP is called a position vector of point P relative to the origin O. Here we can see that point P has coordinates x, y, z, but we can get the components of position vector P by writing x, y, z vertically. Again, we have a coordinate diagram where we have vector A and B. If we want to move from point A to point B, we can move back along vector A to the origin and along vector B to the point B. Basically, to find vector AB, we simply do B minus A. Looking at this example, we have two vectors A and B. To find AB, we do B minus A. So we have negative 2 take away 4 to give us negative 6. Negative 4 take away 6 to give negative 10. And 3 take away 2 is 1. So AB has the components negative 6, 10 and 1. Now try this example on your own. Please pause the video. The answer for vector rs we do s minus r and the components will be 2, 8 and minus 4. If you would like extra practice please turn to chapter 13, page 239, exercise 13a to page 248, exercise 13g. What have we learned today? We have revised how to draw a vector, state the components of 3D vectors, add and subtract vectors both with components and through sketching them, 
multiply a vector by a scalar, finding the magnitude of a vector, and we have also looked at position vectors.